Alright, as always, I am JJ, and right away we get Dan Link versus Pomegranate Falcon. Uh, I know Dan is a Falcon, don't know too much about Pomegranate in terms of characters that play, but our first stage is also Ashley, so we will be seeing a lot of stuff going on as they're just hitting around each other trying to cope with their safety. Obviously, in, uh, when you're in playing running videos, a lot of times you're not getting characters that you've really played with a lot, so you're basically going for any character that you can do decently in neutral. Not sure if they have any rerolls, but both these characters are pretty decent in their own right, so no need to reroll if they are playing with one of those characters. You see them playing around, one of the big things in the team is going to be that bomb. That bomb is really great for getting both of their recoveries. It's going to be really, really good, especially for getting Falcon's recovery, as it is pretty linear, as one of them misses the two frame on the down air for Falcon. And using those uppies beautifully catching Dan's landing is a very, very safe option, throwing him off stage, continually keeping him in disadvantage. And Dan just going to use this neutral, it's going to crash Dan's up there, but going to. Air dodge off stage still gonna be able to get back with the upbeat. Press call the air dodge coming in, not gonna get to the it. And that upbeat again, almost gonna take it. Next one with neutral DI probably will take the stock, and that forward throw will be the first stock of this run. They're only 57% on Pomegranate as well, playing very, very well so far. And Dan definitely needs to get something started here. He thinks the small hits here or there, but just letting Pomegranate mostly run away with this. You hit both them just playing around each other. And you can just see Pomegranate just playing neutral very, very well. Dan's not really able to get anything started. Tries to catch the air dodge landing with the up smash, but not gonna get anything in return. However, that dash attack one of the strongest in the game, but Pomegranate's gonna they recover very nicely with the Falcon dot kick. And Dan is unfortunately going to SD with the down air. Now up three stocks to one at five percent. But oh, the upbeat not going to get a punch from Pomegranate being a little too slow coming in there. And unfortunately, just Dan is not been able to find the kill and is finally going to find the first stock with an up tilt from center stage. Going to take it at 146%. And now able to get some of these low percent link combos with back airs to chain into each other and are very safe moves. And down tilt. Not going to get anything but going to catch the landing with down smash. Ooh, going to trade with side B, that could have been big for Pomegranate. But unfortunately, Pomegranate finally going to read one of those recoveries and going to get the down air, taking game one to Pomegranate. Without being... Uh, Link. And we are jumping into game two, and we get Dan Joker versus Pomegranate Bowser Jr. And the stage is Town City. So, very interesting. Both these characters are characters that like showing up the side. Obviously, Joker back there is extremely strong on stage. But Bowser Jr. is no slouch either. either. Even the Rapid Jab finisher will be a kill move near the edge of the stage on a lot of these stages with uh, the shorter side last zone. So, it's playing around each other. This is going to be a little bit slow until. Uh, Dan gets our 10, but obviously Joker is just very, very quick with those really fast hitboxes are just able to punish, uh, with punish, anything really Pomegranate will show up. That round jam does do a lot of damage, but will go up at our 10 meter. And Dan is not having any trouble getting back onto the stage. He tries to go for a reaper that forward smash. There's our 10 going to whiff, double whiff, but then gonna get shielded. Pomegranate knows that he just needs to stay outside of Joker's kill range, being able to cross up if those uh, down airs, and instead going to eat a mini forward air off the stage, and trading, I think, the neutral air in the up air from Joker, but our send is gone. That back air will not take the stock just yet. Oh, he tries to read a roll, but unfortunately, just the wrong direction. Oh, and gets the dragon with the up air, but he's going to go with the forward tilt, not going to take the stock just yet. And that back air. No, that back air will not take Bowser Jr. Very, very heavy. And from center town city, not going to take the stock just yet. And what's the ledge trap? Not going to do it. But unfortunately, not going to throw in time when we get by the Metro Koopa. Down there. Both of them might kill for a right now. One good hit will do it. And then down throw do it. Not yet. All but high. Oh, good. High top ceiling on town city. But down throw is not going to take it just yet. Maybe another one. But that rapid jab will take the first stop. Like I said earlier, that is a very, very strong move. 
And once you get there, all you need is one jab to get stopped. Oh, and spot dodge on the up smash. Dan is just not able to get these stocks started. But he has our sense, so maybe he can uh, make something happen here. And yeah, that forward smash from Bowser Jr. is just so, so safe. He kind of just throw it off. It's really good on shield. And shield and next Koopa. No one's going to grab it, though. Finally going to get the grab, and that down throw will take the stock. Finally, Dan only 55% on him on this second stock. But stocks are even in our scent is out. Me never sent him load up very quickly. And there we go. Tries to get Cheeky land on stage with the hitbox of Bowser Jr. when he's out of the cart. Of course, only going to get a small punish, but Dan is back off stage in disadvantage. Going to get back onto the stage. Some quick little combo hits. And uh, now Pomegranate's someone off stage, but reversals it with the back air. And. Uh, Oh, unfortunately, Dan going a little too far, trying to avoid the Mecha Koopa cart, and is going to pay for it with another as to be. And unfortunately, Pomegranate is already set up a quick 30 percent but he's going for those forward smashes. Pomegranate's not going to cross it up this time, though, going to get punished with the back throw. Gets hit with Aha. This is going to be another back throw off stage, but Dan still does not have our sending. He's not able to close up these back These throws are not going to be doing too, too much. Um, Pomegranate, all you need to do is get off stage, and Bowser Jr. has a pretty good vertical recovery. No problem getting off stage. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Good, good thought by both of them, but Dan going deep there for the back air, and Dan only 32%, bringing this back 1% at a time. Ooh, kind of with that grab, and then gonna eat a few aerials and up tilt for his troubles. Ooh, but when? Oh, two spikes on this spot that he tries to go for a third, but doesn't get it. But still dead. Very even game so far. Our sense is out. The sense are even. What is going to happen? Ooh, gets... Oh, gets the down air, but misreads the direction of the air dodge and the wish, the forward smash. That could have been the game right there if that hit. However, that's another throw for Pomegranate. Gonna be a down throw. Just get that person extend in into disadvantage off of the stage. Ooh, but gonna fall out of the down air that time. Oh, and he hits him with the spinning part. That move is so, so strong. Then gonna be able to get back to the stage, retreat to the platform. Very good, just being careful, making sure not to get hit by any of those teams. Really strong arrow for that forward smash. But unfortunately, as the little joker, unless you win the press pack, isn't going to result in a kill. That's forward throw off the stage, another neutral air from Pomegranate. Not gonna do it just yet, even though he missed times the down smash, but still Dan is continually in disadvantage, using the invulnerability of that upbeat to get through the down air though. And both of them are up to what? Yeah, Brandon. Right and yeah, that's gonna be I think the forward air from Pomegranate taking game number two, and Dan is down 0-2. Pomegranate up 2-0 in this best of five random ditto. Pomegranate on game point right now. And uh, obviously, this, since this is random deals, we are having random stages, and we're going to see what the stage is this time. And we get Dan Sheep, Pomegranate Villager on Kalos. Oh boy. So we have walls here, but we have Villager. And it's been a little while, but we did have Bobby Wasabi come to uh, some of our tournaments last semester when he lived uh, still in Boston. And I saw the full terrifying might of what Villager could be. And just how crazy this character was, Bobby Wasabi winning that week of nine. Um, we're going to see if the Dan Sheik is enough to take out the Pomegranate Villager and get him on the board. So this is how it gets started. Obviously, Sheik is very fast, has those are good at normals, but killing trouble is killing is going to be trouble, and Dan has had some trouble with that throughout the game. He's going to eat a forward smash, send him all the way across the stage. And Pomegranate just camping this one with the bowling ball. I'm going to see if Dan can get anything started. Obviously, Village Defend is very, very good. And Dan, ooh, use that down here into up smash, but Kalos having very large blast zones. Villager is still going to live right there. And forward smash into the rapid grab from Villager. Some needles into a back air. Tries to go for the bouncing fish, but instead it's going to miss and get reversaled by the Villager back air sweet spot. And uh, Pomegranate once again it takes an early lead, and we'll see if Dan can close out the stock. Obviously, she has some trouble. But has Villager in disadvantage, Dan goes back airs, tries to go for another up smash, but gonna get interrupted. Finally lands forward smash, even from center stage, still gonna be a strong move, gonna even up the stock to 2-2 here. And we'll see if Dan can land some of these cheap percent, low percent combos, just to get himself back in this game. 
Yeah, there's the down throw. Unfortunately, you're not going to get a follow-up. But landing a few forward airs, and percent is still even. Everyone is in this game. She can obviously put up a lot of damage because there's a staff. But, oh, uh, I guess... Dang, gonna go SD. I'm assuming was trying to go for a wall jump, but was probably still in hits in uh, end lag from using the aerials off stage. We get a little bit of mashing there, but either way, Pomegranate taking this game that was even and now having a huge lead. Very good for Pomegranate. Dan has to keep their composure here. Uh, she is a character that can do this, but needs to play very, very careful. I do not. Um, but either way, it's going to be very, very hard for Den to come back here. Already 58%, but 99%. One bouncing fish kill will do it. Oh, and that's the untouchable up B, and that's going to take the stock up to the top. What the heck? Absolutely crazy. Either way, Dan just brought himself back into this game. <laughs> However, it is a large percent deficit, 70%. Differing between Dan and Pomegranate. Pomegranate going for the kill, getting the down throw, not able to get the forward smash, a bit too high percent. Forward air, not too high percent. Dan landing these up airs, this is how it gets started. Just moves a few small hits, catches the air spot dodge with the needles. Ooh, but whiffs is their own grab. But he is at too high percent for Pomegranate to get those grab follow ups. However, that back throw will kill eventually. Oh, and landing a few of these falling neutral layers, not able to get too much off of it though. Oh, and Dan does the wall clean, gets killed by the forward smash. Oh my god, the bowling ball off the stage, taking the stock. And Pomegranate will win this random exhibition match 3-0.